Hi, I'm Molly Clinton, and this is my third and final podcast on my three-part series on The Kite Runner. In this installment, I will be discussing my personal connections, as well as some real-world connections, to the novel. In the novel, Amir and Hassan has a strong bond growing up. They did everything with one another, but they were soon ripped apart. When I was younger, I had a best friend that, like Amir and Hassan, I did everything with. But due to my father bringing in the Marine Corps, we were forced apart. We tried to keep in touch, but it became harder and harder as we grew older. This quote from the novel explains their bond just a little bit more. Then he would remind us that there was a brotherhood between people who had fed from the same breast. A kinship that not even time could break. Hosini, page 10. Although me and my friend did not feed from the same breast, we grew up together and lived next to one another. So we were able to form a strong bond that, even though has faded, can't be broken. It is difficult to make a text-to-world connection with this novel, in particular due to the fact that many of these events, such as the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan, is very much true. Focusing on events that Hosseini did not base on true events, I was able to make some connections that are very prevalent in our society today. For example, when Sobrab went to take his nightly bath and ended up attempting suicide. A quote from the novel. I pushed the door open, stepped into the bathroom. Suddenly, I was on my knees screaming, screaming through my clenched teeth, screaming until I thought my throat would rip and my chest explode. Later, they said I was still screaming when the ambulance arrived. Hosini, page 343. Suicide today is prevalent in the media, in order to try and prevent it. When reading this excerpt, the whole time I was thinking about the scene in 13 Reasons Why when Hannah's mom found her in the tub from dead from cutting herself with razor blades. This is a text-to-text com- connection, but there are many people that are coming out and telling their stories about suicide and suicide prevention in the media. Literature plays a key role in helping us understand and connect to our world. I have mentioned in my previous episode that the Kite Runner helped me understand a different side of Afghanistan. There are tons of different types of literature for everyone, and the more that people read, the more information they will attain. I feel that if we as a society begin to read more, the more understanding we will have for each other, as well as other cultures. I feel that The Kite Runner is extremely relevant to today's society, and maybe even more so now than when it was written. Throughout the novel, you go on a roller coaster of friendship, war, betrayal, sexual assault, redemption, suicide, and much more. Looking at our society today, people just now are starting to feel open and willing to talk about these deep topics. I feel that everyone should read this book due to the messages that it portrays, and I feel that it will give people another side to Afghanistan's story and not just the one they see in the media. Even if you are not reading this book to find its deeper meaning, it's a pretty good story. And that will round out my third and final podcast for The Kite Runner. Thanks for listening, and I hope you, too, will enjoy the book as much as I did. Bye!